Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, ignore, ignore all the stuff we got going on in the background today. Um, this is a vlog I am so excited to finally be filming. I am going to the beach this weekend with my mom and my dad and my sister. It's just the OG members of my family, minus my brother who lives out of state. So <laughs> he would be invited if he lived here, but he doesn't. I'm so excited. Um, we are going to stay at a house that belongs to a family friend that we've stayed at many, many times throughout my entire life. And it's just going to be three days of relaxing and my mom's bringing the puppy. And uh, I just, I have been looking forward to this all June. This has been the carrot on the end of the stick to get me through this month. I'm so excited. So I'm finishing up packing right now. Um, I have a couple more hours before um, my parents are going to pick me up. Um, but book situation, <laughs> as you know, this is always the hardest part of packing for bookworms. Um, my sister and I are planning on going to a bookstore. I will, of course, bring you with me. And I hope to start at least one of the books I buy at the bookstore while I'm at the beach. So I don't want to bring too many books. Plus, my sister is bringing a couple books for me to borrow. Um, so I can try out some more recent fantasy romance books or romance fantasy books. Anyways, um, I am definitely bringing Man of War by Cory McCarthy. I am, how far am I? Nope. I am 138 pages in and this is contemporary YA. I am loving this. This was on my self-destructing TBR for June. I'm not going to have it finished by the end of June, because today is June 30th, unless I like really power through it this afternoon at the beach. Um, but the other book that was on the self-destructing TBR was a bust, I DNF'd it. So I am really delighted that I am loving this as much as I am. Um, and I can't wait to talk about this book when I'm farther along with it, because I just absolutely love it. I absolutely love our main character. I love the story McCarthy is telling. Um, I, I have seen this book get really, really rave reviews from uh, bookstagrammers I really trust, but um, you know, there's always that risk that you're not gonna like, love the book that everybody else loves. So I'm just delighted to be loving it so far. Um, I'm almost halfway through also with The Flight of Magpies by KJ Charles. This is book three in A Charm of Magpies, which was Charles's like debut romance fantasy series. Um, now this is one of KJ Charles's series where you have to read all three books to get the couple's true HEA. Um, and so this is the last installment. I've read these really spread out apart, but I really wanted to finally wrap up this trilogy. I'm not loving this installment. I think if you're going to read one of her series where you have to read all three books, um, you have to marathon them. And I think I've just had these so spread out that I'm not getting that same like payoff, but that's okay. I'm going to keep reading it because I do really love Katie Charles and I really like the couple in here, though they are struggling, but that's okay. Um, and then of course I'm going to bring my Kobo. Sorry, the window's open. It's summer. It's too hot to close it. We're just going to Sorry. So I'm bringing my Kobo um, because Laura Katie Martin's novella is finally out. Um, it's called Rose House, I believe. Um, and our Katie Martin wrote, oh no, I was practicing the titles while I was at the gym in my head so that I wouldn't forget them. And now they just flew out of my head. Oh, um, okay. So our Katie Martin is the author of A Memory Called Empire and A Desolation Called Peace which is a sci-fi duology that I really love. Um, and so she has a novella that came out and I started it a little bit yesterday, um, but I didn't get very far. And it's like a, a like AI, maybe detective mystery. I haven't gotten that far. Um, I'm hoping it's gonna be sapphic because memory called Empire was sapphic, but we shall see. Um, and I think that's enough. I think between my Kobo and then these two books and whatever I buy at the bookstore, I don't need to bring anything else. 
my hoarding heart wants to bring everything else. Also, can we discuss how I am still obsessed with this shirt? <laughs> oh, he's sleepy. Um, if you haven't read Tea Dragon Society, this is chamomile. Um, and chamomile is always sleepy. Um, and if you haven't read Tea Dragon Society and you like graphic novels, I highly recommend it. It's so cute. Um, just, just get it from the library just to look at the pictures of the dragons because ugh, they're adorable. Anyways, um, all right, I think that's it. I gotta finish packing and do all the things and I gotta go through my outfits that I picked out for tomorrow and Sunday because I, when I have to pack an outfit, I forget all the outfit combos that I love. Like, I, I no longer know how to dress myself <laughs> when I have to pack outfits in advance. So I'm going to go through them one more time, make sure I'm happy with what I packed, even though we're just going to be like walking on the beach and we might go for a hike and books are browsing. So it's not, it's not like we're even doing anything <laughs> like where I have to look nice. I just want clothes that I feel comfortable in and that make me feel good. Okay. I got to go. Um, okay, I finished, uh, yeah, I think, I think everything I said earlier holds up. It's fine. I think it's, um, definitely better if you're going to read this series, if you just marathon them back to back to back, don't take big breaks that I do like I did, um, because it definitely lessens your attachment to the characters. And I didn't care as much for this one as I did in the first two, so. I also found myself skimming the steamy scenes quite a bit. I think because I had lost my connection to these characters, I didn't care um, very much. And I didn't feel like the steamy scenes were doing anything for like bringing them closer together or creating more intimacy. It was like, they were just there to be steamy, just fine. Like my people are into that too, but I want, I want those scenes scenes to serve a purpose in bringing the two characters closer together and bonding them in some way and revealing something or bringing some emotional intimacy and it just didn't feel like they were doing that so that's okay I think three stars is three solid so um I am now going to switch to Man of War and hopefully make some good progress on this because I am loving it
Good morning, friends. Actually, I think it's afternoon. Yeah, it's afternoon for me now. <laughs> um, well, as you saw, my sister and I went to the bookstore. It was so fun. I always struggle. That bookstore is small, but I struggle not to buy all the books every time we go in. <laughs> but I limited myself to two, which was good. Um, and then I updated my reading journal. So I'm ready for July. Um, I'm going to go downstairs as soon as I'm done updating you and see if I can finish Man of War because I'd really like to start one of my new books today or tomorrow. Um, so I got Small Miracles by Olivia Atwater. Uh, I read the Half a Soul trilogy last summer. I loved Half a Soul. It was one of my favorite things I read last summer. Um, and then I enjoyed the other two books, but I didn't love them the same way I loved Half a Soul. Um, so this is uh, Indie Published. Uh, is about an angel who is um, has a gambling debt. And in order to pay off her gambling debt, has to go um, and tempt a mortal to do nice things for herself. So it sounds delightful. All the things I loved about Half a Soul. Um, and I'm so excited to read it. It's also not very thick. Um, and this was just such a fun surprise. And then I also got Liar City by Ali Theron. I have read her, she has a historical magical romance trilogy and I've read the first book in that. But this is, I think, like an urban fantasy. And it's set in Seattle, which isn't, you know, it's just the next state up from me and um, is a gay romance. And there's like an empath and an empath hunter who have to band together to solve a murder. So I it was a good time, but there were like a bajillion books I could have bought in addition to these. But I tried to limit myself to something that I couldn't find. I wouldn't easily be found in another bookstore. Like, I don't think I could go into Barnes and Noble and find these two. Um, so, very excited. I think if I can finish Manowar, I think this will be the one I start next. So, um, with that update, I am gonna go and hydrate because I am heavily caffeinated right now, but not hydrated at all. So, I'm gonna go hydrate and read my book. And it sounds like my parents and the puppy just got home from their hike. And yeah, it's such a good weekend. I'm hoping to go for another walk on the beach later um, by myself because uh, it was not a, uh, it was a very slow walk with the puppy. So fingers crossed I squeeze that in too. Okay, bye.
Good morning, friends. This is our last day here. We're going home today. It's kind of sad, but yeah. it has to end at some point. Um, I wanted to do a quick update. I did finish Man of War yesterday. <sighs> so good. If you like queer coming of age stories, I highly, highly recommend this book. It is so good. I don't know why more people aren't reading this book or talking about this book, um, but this is about River. And when we meet River, they are a sophomore in high school and they are going through some things and are basically following River through the rest of high school and into college as they navigate relationships, coming out, internalized homophobia, a lot of body dysphoria, um, and just what it means to be queer, um, and then also to be queer when you leave in a deeply red state. So, um, I highly recommend it. I loved it so much. I think more people should read it. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then, as you probably saw in the clip, I started Small Miracles by Olivia Atwater. Um, this is pretty fun. I, so Gadriel is a fallen angel, um, has a gambling problem and makes a bet, another angel, that she can't tempt this human, Holly, to sin more, um, cause silly, cause Holly has like a, a sin deficit. Um, and I love how like the angels don't have any concept of gender, so um, Gadriel is really fluid. Like, she appears to Holly as a woman, he appears as a man, he appears as a kitten. Like, we're all over um, the place, and it's very fluid, and I love it. Um, and then, of course, the Holly has like more things going on, so I, I love that it is typical Olivia Atwater maybe where the premise is really funny and um and it's really fun and it's kind of rompy but then there's also like some deeper theme and conversation stuff happening as well so I'm about halfway through maybe yeah it's it's a good time it's an easy read um so with that I'm going to finish my coffee maybe read a little bit more and um enjoy the last morning at the beach.